Hello everyone, this is Alcabea the Analyst, and today it's going to be a late night video. Just seen some tweets, I'm like, let me make a video. I'm up, my kids sleep my wife out, having a good time with her sister. So I'm um, like, let me make a video, and let's talk about Denard Wilson, man. Let's talk about him. Slay one of them, CD Deuce one of them. I had to do a little research. I actually did research before this video, but let's get into it. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. I must admit, I, I probably got to apologize to Denard Wilson, man. I've been a little hard because I've been hard on Gannon. I'm like, well, I want everybody out that was under Gannon's system. I don't care where Nick Rollins go. I don't care where Denard Wilson go. I don't care where the quality control coach went to Miami. I don't care where none of these guys go. But I'm like, okay. I got a feeling we're going to hire in-house. I, I just got this deep feeling. So I'm like, okay, let me do some research. Denard Wilson, 40 years old. So he's young. You know me if you've been watching my videos. I'm not a fan of the young defensive coordinator. I'm just not. So I'm like, okay. But let's see. Let's see his resume outside of Eagles. And I'm going to judge on what he did with the Philadelphia Eagles. I knew he was with Ty Bowles. I knew that. But, man, I know Greg Williams had him. Let's be honest, Saints bounty hunting, all that type of stuff. But Saints defense, Sean Payton ain't win the ring since Greg Williams. Greg Williams, say what you want. He won hell of a defensive coordinator. Ty Bowles, let's be honest, won hell of a defensive coordinator. Even in Philly, Jonathan Gannon, the past defense was ranked number one. Got to give Denar Wilson some props. Got to keep it real. Big play Slay. Speaking up like, man, my guy deserve a spot. That speaks volumes. I actually think C.D. Deuce speaks higher volumes because, hey, he's quote-unquote a free agent right now. And we probably could sell him on, you know, Denar Wilson will be our defensive coordinator. And let's keep it real. C.D. Deuce was good with the Saints. But he became elite when he came with the Eagles under Denard Wilson. Got to keep it a buck. He caught six picks. He had his best year. And he missed games under Denard Wilson. And what I'm saying is that if we decide to hire him, we had to let him run his own system. You know, he got three guys. He got Gannon he learned from. He got... Grant Williams, he learned from, and he got Ty Bowles, he learned from. So you, you got to, if we're going to hire him, Eagles fans, we got to give him his opportunity to run his own system. Um, but, man, those endorsements are big. They, they are big, man. And, and those guys, those defense coordinators I named to hire him, he knows something. He knows something. And... A guy with that type of caliber, that type of resume, you don't want to just let walk out the door unless you really going to hire maybe a Rex Ryan or something. Like, you just can't. Everybody wants the young defensive coordinator, so he's going to get snatched up. Come on. You can't let him walk out. I think I'm, I'm low-key getting sold on him. And, you know, a lot of people have been asking me, how come in? Why are you ain't talking about the draft, who, who we might pick? Who's your guys, this and that? Because I'm like, I, I really can't evaluate until we basically announce our offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator and what type of schemes and stuff they're running. Yeah, I can name this guy, but Denard Wilson don't like that guy. It, it doesn't fit his scheme. I can say this guy, but maybe, maybe it's not Brian Johnson. Maybe it is. And that offensive coordinator don't like this guy. Maybe he's pass happy. Maybe I got to take um, B-Rob out of my head. I don't know. But what I can say, going back to Denard Wilson, the development of, of Avante Maddox, that was Denard Wilson. Say what you want about Marcus Epps. He developed. That was Denard Wilson. I, I got to give credit what credit is due. James Bradbury had his one of his best years under who? Nard Wilson. I'm just judging the secondary who was on the field. Reed Blankenship. It's Denard Wilson, man. 
gotta give them props. Gotta give them props, man. Um, but I, I see why I see why a lot of fans are heavy on them. I think in our hearts, especially me, I would say again in that Super Bowl and relying on that pass rush so much and they just couldn't get there. He just didn't know how to adjust. And just to put that on another guy who's, you know, the coordinator of the linebackers or the defensive backs is, is pretty unfair. But did my research and I see why a lot of people like him. So if we're going to give an in-house a shot, give him a shot. Unless it's Ryan, like Zimmer, and I might take a step back. But Denard Wilson is that dude, man. It's that dude. He got the biggest endorsements from the biggest defensive coordinator. So got to give him props. Got to give him props, man. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about Denard Wilson, man? Um, so we give him a shot. CD do said, yeah. Slay say yeah. The resume say yeah, man. They say yeah, man. Just look at the development of the DBs. Just single them out. Forget the scheme and all. Just single them out. Even Slay. Best years. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Good.